Okay, we're back in the part two of paging. Okay, so before we left off just now, we are talking about paging, and we are talking about how the operating system handles paging. Okay, so paging is a situation whereby a process is broken down into several parts, and each of these part is called a page. Okay, and this is an example of how the process is now broken into several pages. Okay. So, when I say logical memory, it refers to the CPU and page table refers to the uh, main memory and frame here, frame number, is all referring to physical memory. So, physical memory is your hard disk, page table is located inside your RAM or your main memory and logical memory is, is your CPU. Okay, so... Uh, why does the operating system break this process into several pages? Because the main memory cannot take in all the pages, or sorry, all the process. So the process is now broken into several pages. And each of these pages are kept inside the main memory, sorry, the physical memory. When it's being utilized, when it need to be utilized, only then it goes to the logical memory or the CPU. Okay, so what is a page table? A page table, it's here. Okay, is a map to map. Okay, it's a map. Eh? It's a map. Okay, to translate logical to physical memory. Okay, logical to physical memory, and the operating system keep tracks of all free frames. Where is the frame? Uh, the frame is located inside. Sorry, the frame is located inside the physical memory. So each box here is known as a frame, and each frame is inside the hard disk. And the operating system will keep track of which page is located in, in inside which frame. Okay, so that is, that is what we're talking about frame. So the operating system will also keep track of which frame is available for the pages to be located uh, to be put in. All right. So you also have something which is called the page size and the frame size. Okay, size here, page and and the size. And they say the frame size equals to page size. It's also very important. Meaning. What does it mean by that? Meaning, this size, frame size, is the same as this frame, uh, page size. So, page frame is the same, the size. Okay, so how do we read this uh, diagram? So, when the operating system says, go and get me page 0 from the physical memory. So, the operating system will bring page 0 to the page table and refer now, where is page 0 inside physical memory? So, physical memory, a uh, page table, a uh, page 0 is inside frame number 1, which is this one. Where is, so now operate, uh, CPU says, okay, go and get me page 3, the contents of page 3. So, operating system will take page 3, refer to the page table. Oh, it's inside frame number 7. Okay, frame number 7. Okay, let's look at this diagram. This is a bit confusing. This box here, 0 to 3, is the page 0. Page 1, page 2, page 3. Frame 0, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, again, one box here is called page 0. It always begins with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. Frame 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And number 2, size of this page is similar to this frame size. I repeat, page size is similar to frame size. Okay? So you can see here, 0, 1, 2, Sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, if you, this is 4 locations. Okay? Similar here. 4, 5, 6, 
7. So there is 4 locations as well. Okay. Why does it be begin with 0? All the calculations in operating system in computer always begins with the number 0. So in each location here and each location here, we can say there are 4. 4. Maybe 4 bytes, 4 bits or whatever, but it's 4. 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So let's say, or logical uh, CPU says, please get me the contents of page 3. Uh, so where is page 3? This is page 0. This is... Where's the arrow here? Okay. So where is page 3? Page 0, page 1, page 2, page 3. So this is page 3. Okay. This is page number 3. Uh, where is page 3 refers to... Look here. Uh, page 3 refers to frame 2. Uh, okay. Where is frame 2? Okay, where is frame 2? Frame 0, frame 1, frame 2. Ah, so frame 2 is here. So this is frame 2. Okay, frame 2 is over here. Okay, so now operating system says, uh, get me frame, sorry, get me page 1. Where is page 1? Oh, page 1 is here. Uh, page 1 is here. Let's change the color. Page 1 is here. So this is page 1. And where is frame page 1 located? Page 1 located at frame number 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 6 is... Oh, sorry. Oops. So, okay. uh, where is page 2? Sorry, what is this? What am I talking about? Ah, yeah, where is page 2? 0. Uh, this is page 2. Page 2 is in frame number 1. Oh, still up. Sorry. Where was it? 2. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. So, this is page... Okay. Page 1. Okay. So, page 1 is located at frame number 6. So, where is frame number 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we go. This is frame number 6. Okay. Change fill. No fill. Okay. This is frame 6. Okay. Again. Page 1. Page 0. Page 1. So page 1 ni lah. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So page 1 is located inside frame number 6. Frame 0, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, frame 4, 5 and 6. E, F, G, H. Okay? So, this is page, 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 page. So, it has four pages here. You can refer to this. Okay? You can refer to this. You see? All of this, can you see? One, two, three, four pages is referring to here. Uh, it's referring to here. And, now how do I do this? And all of these frames is referring to here. Okay? Is referring to this one here. Uh, is referring to this one here. All right. So next, let's see how do you want to calculate, because there's some calculation involved in how the operating system will get the exact frame location. Okay. So given a physical memory, okay, okay, physical memory of size sixty-four bytes, and each page size is eight bytes. Okay. So now you have a physical memory which is at 64, uh, 64 bytes. Okay, 64. Meaning, this whole thing here, okay, we look back here, physical memory size of 64 uh, bytes. 64, eh? 64. So 64 means from the top to the bottom is 64. Okay, from the top to the bottom is 64. Okay, can I draw something here? Uh, let me see. How do I draw this? Okay. Draw, 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 draw. So maybe I can do this way. Okay. Okay. Uh, pen, 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 pointer. Ha, here we go. Okay. Pen. Alright. So it, it says 
physical memory size is <coughs> and 64 bytes so how do I draw 64 bytes it's just like this so the top frame here the top frame here is always empty and will be given to operating system okay right so next or oh, maybe I draw it in a different uh, draw it in a different slide let's see let's see here okay so how do I draw this all right so it says there's a pointer uh, pen. okay so it says uh, what does it say okay uh, physical memory size is at <coughs> 64 okay so how do you draw 64 and, and, and. So, so this is operating system okay and the address of <coughs> starts at 0 up to 64 since we start at 0 the last address is at 63 okay you understand because we start at 0, so the last address is always 64, minus 1. Alright, page size is 8 megabyte. <coughs> so we said, uh, if you look at the previous slide, and we said before, page size equals to frame size. So we want to draw the frames inside the physical memory. So each size of the frame is 8 bytes. Okay, so this is frame number 0. So, this is frame number 1, frame number 2, frame number 3. So, how many frames are we going to draw? Uh, so, the trick is 64 divided by 8 because we said page size equals to frame size. So 64 divided by 8, we get 8. So 8 means 8 frames. So we have, uh, what is this? We have 0. So if we start with 0, the last frame will be frame number 7. 4. Frame 5. Frame 6. And the last one here is frame 7. Okay. Okay. So this is what. But obviously the size is uh, same. Lah. Okay. Because of my drawing, it's all jumbled up. Okay. So how do we get 8 frames? 64 divided by 8. Why do we do 64 divided by 8? Simply because if we refer to the previous slide, we said page size is equivalent to page size I'll just do it this huh? page size page size equals to frame size equals to f underscore size okay all right let's go okay so remember this so that's why we have got 64 divided by 8 okay so now what is this? What is this diagram called? This whole thing is now known as, is known as the page table. Okay, page table. Okay, so you have the page table, you have your frame size. Now you need to draw. If you refer back to the slides, we need to draw our uh, our logical memory or logical address. How does it look? Uh, how does it look like? <coughs> Okay, so we're going to stop here and we were going to continue in our third video shortly and I will use the same example. Okay, so now what have we done here? We have done the frames. Okay, so we have this already. Okay, we have the page table and why is the eight uh, bytes? Because the size of the page is the same as physical uh, frame size. So we already have uh, our physical memory uh, drawn out. So this is your physical memory. Okay. All right. Okay. That's going to continue shortly.